good way to get the morning started. Pretty little bass. What I'm doing right now, I first got out here and I had some wind and I was uh, throwing a little bit faster moving baits and that wind just went away. So what I'm throwing right now is a drop shot and I got one of my little swim baits on there and just kind of pulling it along and that little tail will move and, and he took that really good. Basically just taking that swim bait on a drop shot and just swimming it along. I think I have a white bass of which I believe I am correct. Yep. Yep. Good little good little fighting white bass right here. There we go. These white bass are pretty nice and healthy out here. A lot of fun to catch. Got a pretty simple setup here, guys. I uh hopefully I can get it untangled here and I'll show you, but I'm using a eight pound test. <laughs> there we go. Eight pound test fluorocarbon line. I've got a small drop shot hook and off the top of my head, I cannot remember the size of that one. I have a little two and a half inch silver blue swim bait that I make and I got an eighth ounce uh, weight. Now I did get asked one time, why do I put a swivel on the bottom? Well, what it does is it makes it really, really easy for me to switch weight sizes. So if I want to go heavier, I don't need to retie. I can just use that swivel and I can change my weights really fast. So this is a great way to drop shot with a little swim bait. Uh, you can get a lot of bites, a lot of fish that way. I'll show you guys real quick. I'm kind of moving around a little bit here. Got some boats going by and I'll show you guys how I like to rig this thing up. I pretty much measure it with the uh, hook. I use the whole bait, I don't bite any of it off. When I'm rigging a swim bait, I either nose hook it or I rig it like that. That's a good way to rig a swim bait on a small drop shot hook. And all I do is just make sure I maintain contact with the bottom with that weight. So I'm seeing a lot of these fish out around 15, 20 feet, just a couple of feet off the bottom. So I got about a foot and a half, two foot leader, and I just slowly drag it back, and that's how I'm getting those bites. <laughs> yes, sirree. Oh, nice. Nice spotted bass right here. This is a nice one here. Okay, here's what we're looking for. Right here. Yes, sir. There we go. Saw him boiling up, chasing those shad. Got me a nice, nice, chunky spot right here. Probably close to about, about a two-pounder, maybe. Close to it. Beautiful bass. Throwing my white swim bait start off this morning with a drop shot I'm going to continue my drop shotting later on and then I want to share with you why I like to throw that particular drop shot but right now I got one on a whopper plopper I got one on a swim bait I'm going to chase them around they're in this pocket right now I can see them all over the graph I'm going to chase them around and catch some more so if you want to see the color of these fish these little baby shad I actually caught this one they were over there splashing around on a whopper plopper. They got a little gold in them, green. Uh, when I catch these, I like to look at the colors. Yeah, see, making baits. He screwed up the way my whopper plopper 
was trying to work, but making baits, that helps me a lot right there. So always check them out if you can. Hey everybody, it's Dalton. Just want to talk to you about uh, how things went so far today. I've got some uh, some pretty good wind. The fish are very active. And uh, one of the things I caught them on was a uh, mid-size. This is the mid-size, I believe it's the 110 Whopper Plopper. And I just throw it on 30 pound braid. The other thing that I used is a three and a half inch uh, swim bait that I make. I put it on a 3 8 ounce head because sometimes I needed some, some pretty long casts as I saw these fish surfacing, you know, going after the bait. This, this really worked out well. It, again, I make this little swim bait. It's, uh, it's a silver blue, matches the hatch out here really well. But the thing I wanna talk to you about, let me grab it. I wanna talk to you about using a drop shot as a search bait. So right now, the fish are really spread out. They're chasing bait. You know, they could be over there. They're gone over there. I just saw some splashing way over there, way back here, all throughout the lake. So they're really spread out. Sometimes you just want to find some of them really quick. Now, I look at my graph, and if I see that they're, they're toward the bottom, anywhere from the bank line out to, you know, 20, 30 feet, I like to use a drop shot to search for them. So, let me give you a quick, my quick setup here. I use eight pound test, Seaguar and Vizgus. I got an eighth ounce, just a lead uh, cylinder type weight. And then this is another swim bait I make. It's a two and a half inch, same color, uh, silver blue, small drop shot hook. That's how I, I uh, rig it up. Now the way I work this thing and what I mean in terms of it being a search bait. So I'll cast this thing out. I keep an eye on my line while it's dropping because sometimes the fish will actually hit it as it's going down uh, the tail on this swim bait is very very active now once it hits the bottom this is the search bait part i'm talking about i want to maintain bottom contact i think i already got a bite i want to maintain bottom contact and i want that weight always touching the bottom because that's where a lot of those fish are right now and i just simply drag it back to me and as i'm doing that that little swim bait is doing its action, swimming along. And what happens is I can cover a lot of water with this. I can turn my trolling motor up. I can uh, throw out in front of me, throw behind me, do whatever I want, but I can cover uh, you know, a vast amount of water quickly. And then once I find those fish, I can throw something else if I want to. So using a drop shot with a swim bait as a search bait is just another good way to throw a drop shot. Well, I hope this video helps. I'm going to uh, keep doing some fishing. This wind's kicking up. I'm starting to hear some, some more jumping out there. I'll see if I can get some more on the top water. And I'm going to try for some crappie as well. Sure appreciate you guys. I thank you all for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, I appreciate it if you would. I'll talk to you guys next time.